Angela, you're up next. Uh, if Hi. you can, um, can you let us know what uh, your coffee is that you're drinking this morning oh, and so, what your inspiration is? So I'm drinking a Duncan Caramel Latte. Mm. I just recently started drinking coffee this year, so I'm a newbie. So forget. <laughs> so um, I, anyways, I just do one a day. <laughs> But uh, I enjoy my my caramel latte. So um, one day I'm going to learn how to make it myself and save a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> Until then. Either that or I'll get I sponsored by um, <laughs> Texas. I was, on I, was, I was actually, <laughs> so I was wondering that. I was like, uh oh, I hope it's okay. So I was trying to be all discreet because oh, I didn't know. But Duncan makes Duncan, people happy. If, they we bring could, if to you the would world. like to help support us, we would appreciate it. I like support. a good cup of Duncan. <laughs> <laughs> they really is delicious. It's delightful. It's a great way to start your morning. Anyways, um, well, it's. Uh, so my verse, which is very interesting, um, I didn't even realize this until Mary, you kind of been alluding to this. It may be about perspective, um, but one of my just, I, well, I had three verses. Um, one was, I was going to start with love the Lord or love the Lord God with all of your heart, soul, and mind. Um, because I do believe that like, if your heart is focused on loving him, then these next two verses are going to honor him. And like, you can really have just faith, trust, and hope um, in his plan. And so one of my just heart verses is Psalm 4610, which is be still and know that I am God. And if you just spend time in Psalm 46, I was actually going to read the whole chapter just because um, it speaks very closely to my heart. But Psalm 4610 is just, it, it just encourages us and reminds us to just be still and know that he is God and resting in that. And then my second verse, which is Matthew 7, 7, and it is, excuse me, because I um, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives. He who seeks finds. And to him who knocks, the door will be opened. And like, if you kind of like continue to go on with that, um, it's just a beautiful display of like how generous our father is to us. And that there is not a question or a prayer or a life circumstance that he will not, if, if you're earnestly going to him and seeking him, he will answer you, he will find you, he will rescue you, and he will open the door to you like of, of where you should go. And so that has just been um, through a lot of life's just fun adventures, <laughs> I like to call them adventures because, you know, they're molding and I don't want to take away God's plan for me because I do believe that his, his that my life has been um, a reflection of him um, through me. And so I don't want to take away any of the the struggles or the heartaches that I've gone through, but being able to really just depend and know, you know what, I get to be still and just know that you are God. And I may not have a clue as to what that means. I like, sometimes you find yourself in situations and you're like, what in the world? <laughs> like, how did, how did, I'm like loving you and I'm following you. And then he gets you out of it and you're like, oh my goodness, you are right there. Like I, even though this was a little scary or daunting, it's like going on a roller coaster ride, you know? You're like climbing up and that's just scary. It's uncomfortable. And then you're on the ride and you're like, I can't believe I was nervous, you know? So, so anyways, those are, um, I guess the two verses that have carried me through. Nice. Bobby, how do you react to that? I love having a female perspective on things. It's so much different than ours. Um, <laughs> it's, Thank you. Yeah, it's, no, it's, 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 it's great. And um, like, I've never actually, you, I've heard songs and stuff in the life was like a roller coaster ride and this and that, but you, you sum it up perfectly. It's, um, every day is something different and I mean it's a comfort zone to me I mean sometimes I get in this comfort zone and everything's perfect and then God changes things up a little bit and I'm like why and then oh I see why I get it now and um it, again it's it's all perspective and and seeing things um how God wants us to see it and trying to live our life how he wants us to and um trying to adapt to the changing world and to our changing lives and knowing God sometimes puts us in places and in situations that is not in our comfort zone, um, like filming right now. And hopefully you know, that he uses this, you know, um, 
I could think of, you know, hundreds of times that I've been taken out of my comfort zone by God and questioned it only to come back later on and go, oh, okay, I see why you did that. And um, yeah, that's that's cool. Thank you. Chris? Oh, yeah. Um, I tell you, the Psalm, um, you know, we did Psalm 4610 and the first two words, be still. Mm-hmm. And, you know, that is something that really just resonates, uh, especially with everything that goes on through our lives today. I mean, you know, if you look at today compared to 10 years ago, 20 years ago, you know, life is just moving at a rapid pace, you know, with, uh, with the internet, you know, everything that we can do on social media, everything like that is people are so busy and, you know, it, it's right there in the rule book of life, right there in 4610, the first two words, be still. Because we need to be listening. We, we need to be aware of what is going on and that what God wants to make, what he wants for our lives, what he wants us to be doing for his kingdom. And if we are not being still and paying attention, we miss it. And once again, like I said, I'll, I'll, I'll be the first one to go, hey, I, I, I kind of fall in that category sometimes. You know, I, I fail all the time when it comes to really listening and doing what I should do. I, I mean, there, there's times, you know, when you, you you were either talking with somebody, you were, you were part of a situation, and then you leave, you're driving home, or you get home and you're like, gosh, I missed that opportunity. And it was all because of what it said in the first two words in 4610. So thank you. So I, I'll leave the I'll leave Matthew. I'll, I'm, I'm going to leave that for the rest of you guys, because just right there, I could just talk about be still all day long. Yeah. And I am. Um, so absolutely. I, Angela, thank you so much. Oh, absolutely. I was uh, on a roller coaster earlier and I have a callus because I was holding on so tight <laughs> and I had so much fun afterwards. And it was like the Lord just gave me this aha moment where it was like, see, Angela, like, I've got you. You don't have to, yeah. you don't have to be so, it, I'm just a very controlled individual <laughs> and and I, there's a freedom. A lot of, he a lot offers, of us struggle with is we're trying to control. Yeah. Everything that's going on in our lives, as you said, and you were holding on so yes. crazy that you had a callus, but if we can just be still and let go. Let go. Uh-huh. He has freedom. He's like, baby and girl, let it go. got this. Put it in his hands. <laughs> and I think we all have that problem. With got us. The track may be gone in different directions and we may have some ups and downs, but if we just let it go and know, hey, I may be dropping you straight down, but yeah. you got this. <laughs> My heart may be up here, but, but you know, just to be still and know that's very, very powerful. And I think a lot of times we lose sight of that, you know, where, like you said, Chris, we're just doing so many things during the day and that we, we don't take that time to just be still and, and take it all in. We well, you know, Mary, the thing of that. And Angela and everybody, you know, uh, and anybody and everybody watching this, it's the same thing when we're doing service to the Lord. We're doing church service is we can get caught up into being so busy yeah. that we don't even under, it's not that we don't understand is we forget mm-hmm. because we're, we're, we're too busy trying to do the job. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it's kind of the Mary, the Martha thing, right? Uh, and you know, sometimes exactly to be still, even, even when it comes to church service, we have to be very aware of that. Mm -hmm. You know, what I think is so great is how this also ties into what you had mentioned on your inspiration, Chris, about just what would Jesus say if he was here? I think the challenge that a lot of people have is when they think of God or Jesus. And I had this at first until I really got into the fact that this is a relationship with somebody that cares about me. Because I always saw God as this mystical figure, right, that you you pray to. But if you were to imagine if Jesus were here and we came up and like, oh, my gosh, my day's been so busy. I had to do this. I had to do this. Can you imagine just saying, whoa, hold on, take a deep breath, be still. So there's Psalm 4610. And then he goes into Matthew. Now, what can I do to help you? 
and he brings the voice down and then you say he said just ask me and you'll receive it but you've got to look for me and embrace me and what i want to do if people can envision that conversation rather than you know being on your knees looking up to the sky and praying to somebody that you don't see mm. it would almost be a great exercise if you put a comfy chair like this and jesus are sitting here and jesus like hey be still what would you want that i think is the visual for that so angel thank you for those two verses in just helping me understand it because i never tied those two verses together so i'm gonna go around all day today angela and somebody says something or they're like man i'm so busy i'm gonna say be still <laughs> that's awesome <laughs> <laughs> i'm looking forward to hearing how that works out <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.